Well, first off, uh, I'm very, very lucky because uh, my biggest passion is actually being a photographer. And uh, it's quite amazing to me that uh, I'm actually paid to be a photographer. So I'm, I'm a very nosy person and photography is a great excuse to get me around and see places, meet people, go to new countries, find out what's going on. So that whole process is really my great passion. So what I love to do uh, and my work are so similar, I cannot separate them out. So that's unusual for a photographer. And then even to relax, uh, I, I buy photography books. You can see I collect them. You can see them behind you. You can see them over here. You can see them on this shelf. Uh, and that's where I sort of um, indulge myself by spending the money that I've earned by building up this collection of over 12,000 photography books. And uh, as well as that, I do have other normal things in my life. I like, uh, I like to eat well. I like to go on walks. I like to go on holidays. Although I can't really have holidays because a holiday for me is, means you don't work. And that would be a great shame. So I even work on my holidays, but less hard than normally. Often my subject matter is um, very ordinary. So uh, I'm interested in supermarkets. I'm interested in the food that people eat. I'm interested in day-to-day -day life, as well as trying to figure off things that are extraordinary. Photographers love to photograph the exotic, the beautiful. So my pleasure is to see the, the, how interesting ordinary life is because it's too easy just to ignore that. So that's probably my main subject matter is just day-to-day -day life. And often uh, things like this have been overlooked. So something as simple as going to a supermarket has not been photographed that much. Maybe more people now have done it, but when I first started in the 80s, it was not a topic that people really thought about. Well, I mean, a photographer builds up a lifestyle and approach to the world, which in a sense uh, you know, reveals something about their relationship to it. That's the important thing is you have the subject matter, which is the world out there. You have you, which is the uh, viewer. And your relationship to that is ultimately the subject which you try and express. Uh, so it's a connection to the world that you're trying to talk about. You know, it's very important that it's subjective. It's very important that it's personal. And at the same time, it relates to the the world that's out there so other people can understand what your concerns are and they can perhaps um, learn and be entertained by the way you've made that connection. People understand that photography is the great democratic art form of the world. It's something we can all do. We can do it whatever language we speak. Photography language binds us all together. So I'm very excited by this expansion of photography and it means that the books and the exhibitions and the internet presence get more and more traffic, more and more people responding to it.